it's time to dish with Dee. That is me, and I am back in the car again today. I just had to drop off something at the post office to the winner of my contest. So, keep a lookout. And so I thought I'd do a quick little vlog because I miss talking to you guys. I miss this vlog. I miss just venting my frustrations with life and Weight Watchers. So today I want to talk about a lot of, you know, I should go from different things. Again, if you have a topic you'd love me to vlog about, please leave it in the comment section below. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video and love my vlogs, give me a thumbs up. I love hearing back from you guys. So I decided to talk about why. Weight Watchers is huge in the word why. Why do you want to lose weight? Why did you join Weight Watchers? There's a lot of, like, what brought you into the studio? What made you join online? You know why so that's it's personal for a lot of people um, and some people don't like to share their why and some people's why's are everybody's why is, I hope is different but I mean some of them could be the same but my why was I was <laughs> severely overweight and I felt like crap and I was literally dying I mean I say that pretty much yes my doctor my sleep apnea doctor said Denise if you didn't get help in six months you'd be dead so I've said that many times here on the channel that yeah, my, my why is to live. I didn't, again, I don't want my, want my kids burying their mother at 50 years old and the reason that she died was because she couldn't pull herself away from the table. You know, it's a, you know, food is good and I didn't want to be the reason I died because again, I couldn't stop at one helping of food. And I was sort of embarrassed when I finally realized you know, that was the reason. It wasn't anything medical. I just like to eat. I eat, eat a lot. So I didn't want that to be my legacy and my boys to bury their mother, you know. So that's my why, was to live and to, and to, you know, and here I am. I'll be 54 in a couple of months, August. I'm a summer baby. So yeah, I'll be 54 and I'm living a life that I probably wouldn't be living right now if it wasn't for my machine and Weight Watchers. And my sleep apnea is two thirds better than it was when I started. Uh, I was having 99 episodes an hour. Now I'm down to 30, which is huge. I still need my machine. I will always need my machine, which is fine. I'm totally fine with that. But why is it different for everybody? Like sometimes it's you're diabetic, you know, or you have bad arthritis, you have bad fluid retention. There's just many reasons, you know, and and all of them are valid. Every reason is valid to you. It might not be valid to Sally. Like Sally might be like, well, that's not a good enough reason for me. But we, know, we don't really care what Sally thinks because it's all about you. Some things have to be about you and your weight loss journey needs to be about you. You have to put yourself in focus and you have to put yourself as a priority because this journey is important. This journey is definitely worth it. This journey definitely needs attention and it definitely takes work. So sometimes in our lives, we have to put ourselves first and we don't, especially women, we tend to put everybody else in front of us. But sometimes in our journey for a little bit, we need to be in the forefront because like I said, I want you to get the most out of your journey that you can. And I need you to focus and concentrate on this journey because when you do, great things happen. Look at, look at me, I mean, I can sit there and tell you that. But like I said, whys are important. Always remember your why. If you, if you print it up, you could put it on your refrigerator. You know, we put it in our, um, a lot of us put it on our Connect profile. There's just different places you can put it and always look at it and always reflect on it. Sometimes our whys change. Like right now, my why is a little bit different because I am alive. I have succeeded. My sleep apnea is better. So my why is to continue that. My why is to continue my journey. My why is to stay at my journey. My why is not to lose anymore. Right now I'm into maintaining. My why is not to you know, drift back because we do know how easily it is to drift back. Old habits die hard. Trust me when I tell you that is why it's so important to create new habits. Not do something because you think you're on a diet because this will never work if you treat it like a diet. You need to treat it like a lifestyle and you need to make lifestyle changes that you can keep up with. I'm telling you this because that is the only way it worked for me. I had to, you, know, you see what I eat in a day. You see my food. My food is awesome. I eat plenty. You know, I don't sit there and be eating fruit and vegetables all day because are you going to be eating fruit and vegetables all day for the rest of your life? Heck no. Fit in your proteins, fit in your breads, fit in things you love. I eat pasta. I had pasta salad last night with my dinner. Six points of pasta salad. 
because why because i'm never living my life without pasta salad i love me some pasta salad do i make it lighter than i usually do absolutely back in the day i would use a lot a lot more oil this mine is a little bit more vinegary which is fine i enjoy it nobody even notices a difference fresh herbs i put tons of basil my family was in love with it so again tweak your recipes tweak things and make it work because you know what that's the only way it's going to it is it's just the only way you're going to succeed and i don't want to see you put all this work into it and and go months and months lose all this weight only to go back to old habits and to be back at the at the start how many times have we done that too many times i've been i've started at the start too many times i care to mention this time i swore it was going to be different you know besides the fact that i've spent how much money in this program i wasn't doing it again so and d is sitting here with 117 or 18 pounds down, who knew that I can do that? I certainly would not have been a believer a few years back. I was only going to lose like 60 pounds. That was always my goal, get under 200. Well, here I sit way under 200. I am 153 this week and I am sitting here proud. Could I be skinnier? Sure I could. I, I could lose another, you know, but realistically, I wouldn't keep that off. So I know realistically, I had to get the 10 pound doctor's note because I knew realistically, because realistically, you're about maintaining. You're thinking about the future. You're not thinking about now. You need to get to this. So you have to think realistically. How realistically can I get? Weight Watchers might not think realistically for you, but you need to think realistically for them. So that is why, like I said, I am proud to have that note. Some people shun you for that. I don't care. You know what? I'm sitting here at a weight I never thought I'd ever get to. So I know realistically 10 pounds less would be impossible for me to maintain. I'm not living the rest of my life eating salad. And that's what I'd have to do to maintain another 15 pounds would be salad. And that's that I would get frustrated. I would get tired. I would get upset and I would eventually binge and just gain it all back. Cause that's our mentality. And we've been there. We know the struggle. The struggle is real. So I highly encourage you to sit back enjoy my vlogs enjoy my channel if you have anything you'd like me to vlog about like i said what are you struggling with let me know and i will give you my insight because if you're suffering from it you know i did just because i'm sitting here at gold doesn't make me perfect no it doesn't i've had quite the ups and downs of this journey but that's why i created the channel to share all that with you and give you some insights and hopefully help you because you you know if i can do it i know you can do it and i want you to join me here at the emerald city so thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and we will dish another day.